No, I'm going to call uh, Reno Chiricat. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's my, it's my pleasure to uh, speak in the committee stage of this bill, but it isn't actually a pleasure, sir, because here we are yet again um, debating legislation which is denying the people of Canterbury their full democratic rights to elect a full regional council. So, um, and every time, every time this this subject is raised in this house, I, I'm reminded, I'm reminded of the stone cairn that stands on the square, uh, the Cathedral Square in Christchurch. That stone cairn was erected back in 2010 by the thousands of Cantabrians who were very concerned and were aghast that the, this government was going to be stripping them of their democratic rights, stripping them of their elected regional councillors, and, and that was um, a, a, a very, a very um, uh, passionate act by the people of Canterbury. The stones in that cairn, and it stands so high, probably as, as tall as I am, that cairn, the stones in that, in that, in that structure are, are drawn from all of the rivers, all of the rivers that are, uh, many of the rivers that are in the, um, the wider Canterbury catchment. So, so that, that's, that cairn marks the loss of democracy. That cairn was erected in 2010. And here we are in 2016 debating more legislation which will extend, extend the stripping of the rights of Cantabrians for another three years. So from 2010 to 2019 now, the people of Canterbury are being denied their rights, their democratic rights to elect their regional councillors. Uh, and sir, so we've heard from the minister, and you know he trots out the same uh, excuses and justifications all the time, and he'll make disparaging remarks on anyone, anyone or anybody. Uh, that um, you know has a contrary view to his, but sir, what we need to remember is that whatever body um, the, the, the 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 council uh, may be, and, and, and we're now talking about a transitional governing body. Um, at the end of the day, sir, the the water issues in Canterbury and the in the in the wider Canterbury region aren't going to be fixed. They're not going to be fixed by um, this body. They're not going to be fixed by um, bodies beyond that time. H hopefully, it will be an elected body, though, that will advocate and represent represent the people of Canterbury to ensure that there will be some better managed water uh, in the region. But we're talking about issues, sir, that that um, that are very complex. Uh, and in essence, we're talking about um, not enough water, not enough water, and a lot of competing interests who want, who who need that water. And so, sir, that's not going to be fixed overnight. And so, I raise the the, the, the hypothetical: What if, come 2019, the water zone, uh, the, the plans are still not in place? What say this uh, transitional governing body still hasn't completed? the work that they were um, charged to do. Now, I know Dame Margaret Baisley uh, and um, David Cagle, outstanding, outstanding um, public servants of, 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 of um, highly esteemed, highly esteemed. Uh, but, sir, that is a monumental task they have before them. They have made some progress. But what, what say that they haven't completed the task? What then? Do we come back to this House and put through more legislation to push it out even further. Oh, we need more time. The people of Canterbury, we, we, we can't trust them to elect. We need, we need, we need to have this transitional period uh, a little bit longer. And so, sir, it goes on and on and on. And we've seen this from 2013, here we are, 2016, and uh, indeed, this legislation goes all the way out to 2019. So, sir, it, it, no matter which way, um, you want to um, construct things or prescribe things or prescribe an outcome for the people of Canterbury, ultimately we have to make, take the decision back to the people. Let them have their say um, 
as to who will represent them on the regional council. Sir, 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 Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. I'm going to hear from the Honourable David Parker.